All right, what is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you my day in the life of being a CrossFit athlete. So I started CrossFit six months ago with a goal of getting to the CrossFit Games in probably the next two to three years due to the background that I've had in fitness and in baseball. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing to get where I wanna go. So today I have a six hour triple session. This is what I'm devoting my life to and this is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of my training and my thoughts throughout the day, as well as give you guys my thoughts on CrossFit. So first thing I do every single morning is I drink 30 ounces of water just to rehydrate after the night where I get super dehydrated. And especially during all my training yesterday and all my training today, I wanna make sure that I'm staying hydrated throughout the course of the day. I come outside, get some sunlight just to reactivate my body, just to reactivate my circadian rhythms, get me synced up, and also it wakes me up in the morning. All right, so for breakfast, we just made three whole eggs on a Dave's Killer English muffin, a Thomas English muffin, a full banana, a cup of blueberries and a protein yogurt, 20 G's. So obviously today being a very difficult session, I'm gonna need to eat a ton throughout the day to fuel myself. So every morning starts with a big breakfast filled with carbs and I like to have my fats early so it digests better. And I feel like I get more energy from fats when I eat them earlier in the morning. I'm doing mock cross at semifinals workouts this week so my body's definitely feeling it. I did the Linda workout yesterday and got 1440, which wasn't bad. I did the 90 pounds dumbbells and I was pretty efficient with it. The cleans got me going and really elevated my heart rate. And then on Monday, I've only snatched for like a year and I got 235 after the 800 meter run. And I did the second piece, 185 pound cleans for eight into a 800 meter run. I did that in three minutes and 40 seconds. So definitely happy with how those pacings are going. And I'm excited to keep pushing and grow and see what happens. So my body's definitely a little fatigued by Wednesday. So having this third session really means I need to focus on hydrating, getting my electrolytes in, and eating nutrient-dense foods all day long. A lot of people ask me like why I started CrossFit, especially coming from a baseball background where my sole goal was to throw upper 90s and get signed and play in MLB. But unfortunately that didn't happen due to a plethora of injuries to my elbow, my hamstring, my back, my shoulder. My body just didn't want to <clears throat> push it to upper 90s. It just couldn't get there without getting injured quite frequently. And I've always loved CrossFit ever since I was like 18 years old. I was like, you know what, I really want to do this. I'd be checking out the leaderboards. I'm like, I, I think I can do this. And once baseball was done, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make that switch. I'm going to pivot and I'm going to go all in on this. And I wasn't scared. I was like, I'm going to get make this goal happen. And I'm not afraid to tell the camera. I'm not afraid to tell the world. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to get to the CrossFit Games. Whether it takes three years, four years, two years, whatever it may be, I'm gonna put in the work every single, get, every single day to get where I wanna go. I just love the functional athleticism, the Olympic lifts, I love everything involved in it. I love that it makes you an all around specimen. I love that it involves cardiovascular health, muscular endurance, everything about it. And it's super painful, it's super difficult, and the journey is just so rewarding. And I think that's something I crave and I know I love to do. And I wasn't just gonna hang it up and just settle for mediocrity once baseball was done i was like you know what no <clears throat> i'm going to document my journey to you guys to cross the world and amazing things have happened since i've started to do that and i cannot stress enough how important it is to create goals and create big goals that scare you that drive you in this life all right, so now we're off to session one. Obviously with CrossFit, recovery, mobility, I tend to bring a ton of stuff to my training sessions every single day. So right here we got the 20 pound weight vest. I have a workout with ring muscle ups, toes to rings, pistol squats, and burpee box jump overs today. Then I got my camera equipment on my back. And then in my house I got my more of my gym equipment, which is like a 40 pound 
bag worth of mobility stuff, bands, chalk, etc. And honestly, I just love the process of carrying this stuff around in the gym, out of the gym, whatever it may be. It's the little things in life like lugging your equipment around that makes each and every day just a little better. Also, you notice that I'm in the Gymshark Crest tank today, the black version, then I got the Crest shorts on. Pretty fire fit that you'll see me rocking quite frequently. So we just got back from my first session of the day, which is primarily focused on gymnastic work and conditioning. So we did five rounds of 20 cal echo bike, then three pirouettes, 45 crossovers, three pirouettes. Honestly, it, was, it went exceptionally well. I was very pleased at how I did the pirouettes. Here are my thoughts on CrossFit. So every single day it forces your body to adapt. The organism of the human body is meant to adapt and grow. And if you give it the same stimulus all the time, you're either gonna stay the same or regress. So when I see pirouettes in my programming today, I'm like, damn, I've never done that in my life before. And I could either shy away from it and be like, oh no, I'm not ready for it, or go all in because I know that I can do a handstand walk and I just practiced it before. I got up against the wall, did some dry reps, and then I marked an X in the, on the ground and was able to do it, no problem. And I think that's what's great about the sport, that it pushes you to adapt to a level that you never thought you necessarily would. All right, so right now I'm getting some work done. I'm editing a YouTube video, filming a YouTube video, checking in with clients, working on my website, and sending out some Power Strong shirts. <clears throat> so right now, I do a lot of work before my first session, in between my first and second session, and then I'll do work after my second session. So I like to do work in three sprints. I really get into a flow state while working. I have no distractions, whether it be my phone or checking email, and this works really well for me. I like to break up the work day into three parts just because I know when you sit down on a chair for eight hours straight, you really only get like max two to three hours done. You have so many distractions, so I like to break it up. Obviously, I'm lucky enough to break it up and have that sort of life that I've built, and I definitely recommend getting into a flow state removing all distractions, whether it be email, phone, whatever distracts you, locking in, and you will get a tremendous amount of work done in a short amount of time, and you will seriously maximize your output. I've noticed that has helped me tremendously over the years. All right, so now it's time to take my pre-work up for session number two. We're doing Retro Candy Pre from Transparent Labs. And then we're taking creatine, carb powder, and electrolytes. The cluster dextrin really gets me through the sessions, especially since I have a double session with cleans, ring muscle ups, sandbags, etc. I'll show you that. And then we have a tempo run tonight for about four miles. So I need this right here. This is a game changer, carb powder. I'm gonna try to hit a heavy clean today. We'll see what happens. My body feels pretty good for this being my third training day in a row with double sessions with tomorrow being an off day. I'm really happy with how this week's gone, especially doing all the semifinals workouts and overall feeling really good and not super fatigued, even though my CNS is definitely getting towards red line, but I'm handling it and recovering well. All right, we just buried 330 after a lot of volume. I was gonna push it to 345 today on cleans, but I decided to cap it. 
Now I got a ring muscle up workout with a 20 pound vest, pistol squats, and burpee box jump overs. So I'm gonna take you through that, and I'm happy with how clean went, especially after a lot of volume with limited rest. I just didn't want to push it because I really don't see a need to push my max strength clean on a Wednesday after I've been training for 20 hours already this week. So taking the safe route. Old Drew would have pushed it, but new Drew is being smart. So all things considered, we just banned that workout out. I can see why they wanted you to wear a 20 pound ruck, not a 20 pound vest. Don't have a ruck, but I put the vest on because like obviously I wanted to do the workout with a 20 pound vest. Went to do the muscle up, drilled me in the chin. Oh, so I stopped, did all the ring muscle ups, toes to rings and dip unbroken. Pistol squats are something that I struggle with, so I used a counterbalance for all 80 reps. And then I got around 15 burpee box jump overs each round. Like I said, in, before I did my muscle ups, waiting that extra minute really allows me to like, up, like kind of regenerate my power and my glycogen, stores get a, my glycogen stores get a little replenished, so I'm able to crush those rings. Whereas if I didn't have that rest, that's where I start to get a little more fatigued. And now we have another mech on, and then we got our tempo run tonight. Mile one complete. All right, we just got back from our third session. Me and Liz went on a five mile run today, so it was 0.75 miles of pretty much a sprint pace. Definitely got my legs fatigued, and then we do 0.25 miles of like a slow jog pace. So it's like five different intervals, and honestly my lungs never really get taxed, it's just my legs, especially after all the work I did today, that gets super fatigued. But running is definitely something that has honestly become a strength over the last six months, and I'm definitely excited to see how far I can take that. The ability to kind of push through the suffering is something I'm good at. And I think something that a lot of CrossFit athletes and people in CrossFit or people that don't do CrossFit are not great at. And I think they have to realize that it's okay to suffer. The body isn't going to break. I mean, don't be stupid, obviously, but the body isn't going to break when your mind tells you to. You gotta keep pushing, even though it seems like it's like the end of the world in the moment. Once you get done, you're like, oh my God, that was the best thing ever. But if you quit early, then you kind of live with that regret for I don't even know, the next hour, two days, whatever it may be, <laughs> hour to two days, it could be whatever. And I just think that the ability to push through suffering is one of them, is one of my big thoughts about CrossFit. I mean, you have to just be a dog mentally, honestly. Like I look at the elite athletes and I'm like, the amount of suffering and pain that they go through each and every workout is incredible. And they're able to recover, especially with their CNS. They're able to push through it, even when their CNS is so overloaded and CNS, isn't just affected in the gym, it gets affected outside of the gym as well. So when you look at it as an all-encompassing thing, it's pretty mind-blowing to think that these athletes just continue to push through no matter what. And that's something that I've, st I've done over the last six months and I wanna continue to do until I get to the games and have bigger goals even when I get to the games. But that's a big thing, just being able to suffer and push through the pure pain, not injury, I'm not saying push through injury, but push through the pain and the burn and the fatigue. And it's something that I love and it drives you forward. That's something that I'm gonna keep talking about. It will drive you forward and make you better, not just at the sport, not just better at fitness, just life. Because you wanna hit, you wanna take as much risk as you can in this life, because that's how you get ahead. Just staying here all the time, just coasting through life, sure to each their own. If that's what you wanna do, that's great. But if you wanna do big things and you're not taking risks, calculated risks of course, then you're not gonna be getting to where you wanna go. And just remember, failure's okay. Embrace the shit out of failure. I love failing. I choose to fail every single day. I choose the hard path every single day. And that has been one of the biggest drivers of my success personally, whether it be in my business or through fitness. Just every single day, take risks and choose the hard path. All right, so after the run, we showered up got some chicken and rice in, and then now we're recovering using the Mark Pro. This is my go-to device every single night. It really flushes my legs out and recovers me.
And I do some mobility right now and pretty much just unwind and get more food in me, which I'll show you later. Been watching this show called Night Agent on Netflix. Pretty good show, not gonna lie. Highly recommend it. Keeps you on your toes and, and I haven't been into a show like this in a while, so, so I definitely recommend watching it. All right, so now it's time to crush the last meal of the night. I'm absolutely starving after dinner. Like, I'm literally constantly hungry. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I literally need to eat all the time. But I try not to eat too close to bed because I don't want it to affect my sleep cycles. So we got a day's bagel with Teddy's peanut butter. Then we got some bison meat sticks, a Greek yogurt, 20 grams of protein, and of course, the goaded ice. So I burned 3,750 calories today. So in order to stay in just maintenance, I'm trying to get a little above, I'm trying to get around 4,000. I gotta eat 4,000 calories. That is not easy to do, but I'm glad that I track it and have the idea of what I need to put in my system to either maintain or build muscle because it's very easy when you're doing CrossFit to just let the, I think that's another thing is CrossFit kills gains. It really doesn't. You just gotta eat in a sur surplus or maintain your weight. So if you're hyper obsessive and you track your weight, or you track your macros, or you track how many cows burned, and you actually give a shit, you're going to do what you need to do, whether it be lose weight, maintain, maintain weight, or gain weight. Just most people like to make excuses and take the easy road. That's another big thought of mine that people don't really understand is, you literally just have to eat in a surplus if you want to put on muscle. It's just science, so that's something that's I aim to do every single day, and I'm super cognizant of it because I'm sweating more than I ever have in my life over the last six months. So, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I'm going to house this food, then pretty much watch the last episode of Night Agent. It's the finale, so I'll let you guys know how that goes in the next video, and then pretty much get ready for bed, and yeah, just end the night there. So I appreciate you guys all watching my videos. It means the absolute world to me. I'm on this journey with you just as much as you're on it with me. I appreciate you guys so much. And as always, like, subscribe, share, comment any shows on Netflix that I should watch. And yeah, I appreciate you. Peace.